Hey, I'm Patrick Stegall. I'm a criminal defense lawyer in Memphis, Tennessee. Today I want to talk about federal sentencing hearings and the federal sentencing process overall and how that works. In federal court, the sentencing hearing is a very important part of the criminal procedure. It's basically what comes at the end uh, after you've uh, gone through the case and either had a trial or uh, worked out some kind of plea agreement. And if you, if, you are, if you are facing a sentencing hearing, that means that you have been convicted previously um, on this case. If you uh, go to trial and uh, beat the case, if you get a, a not guilty or an acquittal, obviously you don't ever have to be sentenced. You're done. Uh, you're, you're, you're done with the case and you walk away from it. But if you go to trial and are convicted, or if you go through what we call a change of plea hearing, where you change your plea from not guilty to guilty, you basically accept guilt and take uh, some kind of plea agreement, you will be facing a sentencing hearing. You will have a sentencing hearing after that conviction. Uh, now, the sentencing hearing doesn't happen uh, right away. Uh, it doesn't happen the same day that you are found guilty or, or the day that you plead guilty. Uh, it can take 90 days or more, three months, four months or more after that uh, day of conviction because that's how long it takes to get ready for a federal sentencing hearing. So these are very important uh, procedures. And one of, the, uh, one of the first things that you'll do is meet with a U.S. probation officer, you and your attorney. Let's say you've, let's say you've changed your plea to guilty. And um, you are found guilty by the judge. You plead guilty. At some point in the weeks after that, you will meet with a U.S. probation officer with your attorney probably and uh, you will do what's called a pre-sentence interview. The probation officer will ask you all kinds of questions about your background, um, about this case, if you want to make any statement about the case. And then the probation officer will put together what's called a pre-sentence report, and that takes some time to do. Your attorney will get a copy of the pre-sentence report, and you should look it over beforehand. The government will get a copy as well. And in there, um, you are looking at what's called your base offense level, which is, which, which is calculated within the federal sentencing guidelines. Understand that uh, if, you, if you change your plea to guilty or if you are found guilty, on that day you don't know what your sentence is going to be. That's why it takes three or four months to get ready for the sentencing hearing to figure these things out. Uh, so if you were to plead guilty, it's almost like an open plea. You are pleading and you don't know what you're going to get. You may have an idea. Your attorney should and probably will advise you of some estimates uh, of, of, of punishment, but you don't know. When you plead guilty, you're not getting a, an agreed upon deal of two years or five years or guaranteed probation. You don't know any of these things when you plead guilty. That's why the sentencing hearing is so important in preparation for that and calculating those guidelines and offense levels uh, has to be done uh, thoroughly and exactly to prepare for the sentencing hearing. So that is kind of an overview uh, of a federal sentencing hearing. It's a long process. Uh, if you are facing a federal charge, if you're in the early stages, if you've been charged or think you might be charged, um, you need to start thinking about uh, uh, what kind of punishment you're looking at. And if you don't know, you need to talk to an experienced uh, federal criminal defense lawyer. Again, I'm Patrick Stegall, and thank you for watching.